Chris Diaz is an expert in Africa aviation, infrastructure, manufacturing and the growth of trade and has been a leading executive at International Airlines and Kenya Airport Services and is an IATA certified leader for airline and airport expansion. Chris, what is sustainable aviation fuel? Many thanks, Richard. South uh, sustainable aviation fuel is a type of biofuel used to fly aircrafts and has very similar specifications to the normal jet fuel. However, the SAF can be produced from non-petroleum products and interestingly also use cooking oil, waste, biomass. Did you say cooking oil? Mongad, yeah. Oh, interesting. So for sure, yeah, this is uh, sustainable aviation fuel is the future for aviation industry. And to answer your question, SAF is something that is going to bring a lot of R&D research, private sector and government partnerships. What's the process of producing, you know, sustainable aviation fuel? SAF is cleaner, greener. It minimizes emissions between 60, you know, to 80%. And like normal aviation fuel, which is uh, jet fuel, which adds CO2 to the atmosphere, SAF is using or recycling CO2. So this has very promising decarbonization pathways. And one of the ways of producing it is renewable fuels, whereby you use waste cooking oil, as we discussed, biomass, or even uh, council waste through our process of by lorises through a hydro process or through gasification resulting in purification to produce SAF. The other way of producing SAF is through carbon capture where they use a process of splitting water using electrolysis and then it produces e-fuel. The SAF is then blended between 10 to 50 percent depending of course on the quality innovation of course the feedstock and already over 300,000 commercial flights are made to understand from reports have used SAF blended with jet fuel and they use it between 10 or 50-50 which has resulted in a greater impact in lower emissions of nearly 65% reduction. It has happened in Africa. In fact, the first uh, and early starters was Kenya Airways and congratulations to them. Definitely looking at where the global business is going, all the airlines in the world have committed through ICAO and through IATA uh, objectives. But I just want to mention to you, Richard, that looking at the business today per annum, roughly four and a half billion passengers, and as by ICAO, International Civil Aviation Goals, by 2050, they want to reach net zero objectives. But by 2050, the total airline business estimated is around 16 billion passengers. So it's a huge growth from current four and a half, four and a half billion people to 16 billion passengers. So there'll be many more aircrafts flying across the world and over 400 million tons of cargo annually. So 16 billion people annually means more fuel is going to be consumed. And as per reports is showing 14.8 million tons to 30 million tons of fuel will be needed by 2050. This means 60% mm -hmm. growth of fuel consumption between now and 2030. We really need more partnerships between the government and the airlines and the commitments from the aircraft manufacturers in ICAO and IATA, all the policy makers to push the agenda for SAF to be rolled out and scaled up. And this must be avail uh, available across the world because remember the aircrafts are flying from different regions globally. So we have to produce SAF in an economical and an easy available and a cost effective way and bring down the prices. And uh, we can see the leading aviation countries in the world such as China, America, India, Singapore, Finland, and even South Africa taking greater interest in producing South. Chris Diaz, an expert in African aviation, talking to the airplane-loving Richard Kagur.